Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how I created my 6x6 Shark Attack mini album using the Photo Play paper collection, paper pack. Um, and this pack is only 6 sheets, okay? It has 6 sheets of 12x12 12 12 double sided designer cardstock, 1 sheet of 12x12 12 12 stickers. Okay, so this is just a small pack, but you can still make a cute album with you know just using a few 12 by 12 papers so to get started what you're going to need you're going to need two pieces of medium weight chipboard that are six by six one piece of medium weight chipboard that is two by six okay and i've already put mine together here but what you do all right you're going to take two sheets of eight and a half by eleven and you're going to Add your you need to put them together here okay so I use quarter inch score tape run it along the side of one of them then I place them together okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chipboard okay your cardstock is together so we're gonna pretend this is together okay now you're gonna take your spine piece which is two by six you're gonna place it in the center where your pages meet together here okay you're gonna place this in the center then you're gonna take a six by six on one side and then a six by six on the other side all right we're gonna leave about an eighth of an inch gap between our chipboard pieces all right which is gonna look like this maybe I should have glued them together first okay but this is what it looks like all right and then you're going to wrap your album okay then since i've already got mine done okay so you've already got your album wrapped now you're going to add your binding piece here okay and for mine what i did was i used five and five eighths by seven okay and you're going to take, place it in your scoreboard. You're going to score at one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and five and a half. Okay, that's going to give you an inch and a half on both sides. Okay. So one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half. Okay. Then you're going to take and you're going to go ahead, you know, put it together. And I already have a tutorial on how to do that. So I'll link that in the description bar below. Okay. But then you're going to add it into your book. All right. So I've already got mine in and I've already added double sided adhesive to both sides of my strips here, both sides of my little flaps, okay? Now, for the pages, what you're gonna do, you're gonna need a piece that is five and three quarters by 11. On your 11 inch side, you're gonna score it five and a half, okay? Then you're just gonna fold it together, burnish it down, Okay, and what I'm doing is this is the way it's going in our album here. So you can put it in now or you can put it in after you have the page put together. But what you're going to do is whenever you place it into your binding here, into your book, the opening is going to be what attaches to your binding strip here. Okay, so you're going to open it up. And we're not going all the way to the binding piece here okay we're gonna go about an eighth of an inch away from it okay so we're gonna go about an eighth away from your binding piece here from your binding flap all right then you're gonna lay this down you're gonna take your strip off you can add glue if you want to I am going to add glue as well as this score tape okay so I'm an eighth of an inch away 
you need to make sure that it's going to be straight okay so you have the same amount of space here as well as up here okay take your strip off add your adhesive press it down and you're going to take this flap same thing you're going to take your strip off add your wet adhesive okay and then you're going to close it down all right that's going to be your page like i said you can do this now or you can do it after and there's only just a couple of steps to building this page all right make sure your flap your opening is to the left okay your opening is to the left all right now you need a piece that is five and a half by ten and a half on your ten and a half inch side you're going to score it a half and at five and a half okay you're going to fold these down and burnish all right then you're going to take your larger flap and fold it up and burnish okay so this is what you have okay your small flap goes down your large flap goes up okay now you're going to take add your adhesive okay now I'm not going all the way to the top and I'm not going all the way to the bottom okay, I'm gonna open this up I have my adhesive on my little flap here okay I'm just gonna eyeball it all right when you have it where you want it press and burnish okay I'm gonna burnish on the inside as well okay so this is what it gives you you have a flap to the right flap to the left okay and make sure your opening is to the left here of this larger flap because this is your pocket this is your page base okay now okay we're gonna open it up we're gonna add our decorative piece here don't glue this down yet okay you're gonna have your decorative piece here you're gonna have your pocket here okay before you add your pocket before you add your decorative paper we're gonna add a closure if you don't use this kind of closure go ahead and add your decorative paper then your pocket all right but I'm just gonna use just a little swing tab here okay and I'm showing you how I put mine on okay so what I'm doing I'm gonna make sure that I have my decorative paper where I want it okay I'm gonna hold it down close this up still holding that design paper firmly now I'm gonna take my little closure here I'm gonna place it on the side where I want it and I'm going about middle ways and again I'm eyeballing mine Okay, then I'm going to take a pencil. I'm just going to make a mark on the inside here. Okay, so you just want to make a little mark on the inside of this um, swing tab. Okay, now I'm going to take, open this back up. Okay, now I'm going to take my pokey tool here. I'm just going to poke a hole. Okay, now. I have some small brads okay I'm gonna take my little piece here my little swing tab put your brad in the little hole of your swing tab then you're gonna place your brad into the hole okay now I'm gonna flip it over close your brad Okay, don't press it down too tight because you still want your swing tab here to move okay so now I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive here just some double-sided tape okay now we have our swing tab on 
Okay, now what you want to do is you want to take this double sided tape off. Okay, now you want to add your adhesive, your wet glue or double sided tape, whatever you're going to use. Sorry for the squeaky chair. All right, now we're just going to take this and place it back on. Okay, when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay, make sure you burnish really well on the side here where your bread is. Okay. Now, if you have glue come out, no big deal. Alright, now I'm going to add my pocket. For the pocket, you need a piece that is one and a half by five and a half. Okay, you're going to add glue to the bottom and two sides. Okay. So we're just going to add glue to the bottom and the two sides. Alright. We're just going to we're going all the way to the right hand side here and all the way to the bottom because we don't want it to go over our score line here over our little flat okay so all the way to the right all the way to the bottom okay when you have it where you want it press it down and burnish okay and I already have my little piece here. Okay, so I'm just going to add it on. Now that gives you a pocket and your closure. Okay, so now for your belly band, what you're going to need is a piece that is one and three eighths by five and a half. Okay, you're going to add glue to the top and the bottom here. All right, add your design paper before you add your belly band. Okay, I've already added my design paper. So now I'm going to add my belly band. You can put it on the left, you can put it on the right, you can put it in the center. I'm going a little bit to the right. Okay, and you can measure it or you can just eyeball it. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball mine. I'm going to press it down and burnish. Okay, now that's going to give us a belly band. So you have space here, here here and here all right and you also have your closure okay so now what I'm gonna do is flip it over now here this is just gonna be plain so on the back I'm just going to add design paper here okay so just add your design paper and then your next page will be the same as the front of this one okay so each page is the same you have your little flap with your pocket and your belly band and you don't have to put the pocket or the belly band on that's totally up to you okay but then you'll flip it over and you'll have a space here that it'll be plain all right now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and decorate these and then we'll add them into the album. Okay, so now that I have my design paper on my pages, now I'm going to add the pages to the album here. I'm going to start with the last binding strip here, so the last page. Okay, this is the one, yeah, this is the one I want to be the last one. Alright, so I'm going to open this up. Okay, now. I'm going about an eighth of an inch 
away from my score line here okay so the flap will move you know easily okay so I'm gonna line it up making sure that I have the same amount of space here and here okay now I'm gonna hold this tightly well I moved it all right so I'm gonna take this tape off first I'm gonna add my adhesive okay and I'm gonna line it up again making sure I have it where I want it okay when I have it where I want it and I have space in between here I'm just gonna lay this down okay and I'm gonna take this tape off add my adhesive or my wet glue here okay and I'm just gonna close this up I'm gonna open this press it down okay and that is how we add our pages all right now I'm gonna do my middle page same way I'm gonna open this up I'll go ahead and take my tape off or my backing off of my tape add some glue wet glue okay and I'm gonna line this one up with the first pocket that I put on or the first page that I put on again make sure that you leave enough space between your little flap here all right I'm gonna turn mine so I can see it I'm making sure I have it where I want it so when you do this make sure that you take your time okay I'm gonna go in a little closer it down all right take the backing off add your wet glue close it up okay now we're gonna do the last page same thing open it up Take your backing off, add your wet glue, place it where you want it, okay, and now you have a little bit, you know, built up here, so you want to make sure now that you're going down, but not all the way to it, okay, line it up. Press it down. All right, now I'm going to close the bottom of each one of these up so I will have a top opening here I'll have a top pocket for each one okay so I'm going to start at the back okay I'm just going to take it open it up like this okay I'm going to add some glue along the bottom close it up okay you're going to have glue come out that's perfectly fine 
make sure you press it down really good and wipe your glue. Okay, now I'm going to continue to do the other two pages here. And then we will work on the front and back inside covers. Okay? Okay, now for our inside front and back cover, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little flap here. Okay, so the flap is going to be five and a half by five and three quarters. On your five and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half. Okay? So then you want to fold down and burnish. Okay? Now what you want to do is you want to take it, add your glue, and if you want to, you can round your corners or, you know, use a decorative punch, whatever. I did not use a punch or corners for anything in this album. Okay, so now I'm just going to take, add my glue, alright, now this is the front, so I'm going to the left, not all the way to the edge here, okay, I'm going about, let's see how far, let's go about a quarter of an inch away. Okay, you're going to line it up, okay, press down and burnish, okay, now you just want to add your decorative paper here, and that's it, okay, we're going to do the same thing to the back, we're going to take our five and a half by five and three quarters, on the five and a half inch side you're going to score it a half, Fold down and burnish. Add your adhesive. Okay, again, we're going about a quarter of an inch away from the side here. Okay, just line it up. When you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay, and then again, add your design paper. And there you go. If you want to add a magnet, make sure that you do it before you add your design paper down. So we'll add a magnet real quick. Okay, so I've already added my magnet to the flat part here. So I'm going to take it, press it down, and there you go. So if you add magnets, make sure you do them Make sure you add your magnets before you add your design paper. Okay? So that's it. This album is so super simple, so super cute, and is a great way to store your beach photos. You know, you have little boys who love sharks. Um, little boys who love the water. Even little girls. Now, little girls love sharks too now. You know, you can't just put it on little boys. So, little boys and little girls, here's your little shark album. And thank y'all so much for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please let me know. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.